What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Okay, so this is a little different from our usual creative tips and tutorials. This one is honestly more fun than it is practical, but nonetheless, I think it's worth checking out because I just spent like six hours playing with it and having my mind blown the entire time. Web Sim is like being on Rick and Morty and having a portal gun that can take you to any world, except in this case, it's any website. If you want a website about pizza people that allows you to pick what kind of pizza you are, bam, there you got it. Or maybe you want a website that lets you visualize 3D models or one of my favorites, a music sequencer. Pretty much anything and everything you can explore from the surreal to the somewhat practical and for the time being, it's all for free. At least while not too many people are hopping onto this. So we're gonna be diving into how this works. We'll generate a few websites and then we're gonna check out some of the most impressive creations coming out from the community. I'm super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. So when you first hop into WebSim, you're gonna see that it is running in the browser and the UI of it actually looks like a browser itself. So it's already a bit meta. Now there's a few ways to get exploring. So just like you would with any other web browser, you actually go to the browser's URL window here and you can generate a website. Now, the cool thing about this is that all the websites that you go to are being generated on the fly, so they're not being pulled. So these are not actual websites. These are all AI generated websites based on prompts and URLs. So for example, if I was to type in pizza persona quiz, Com. This is not a website that I know of exists at least. And if I was to hit enter, all of a sudden we can see that the blue bar is loading and we have a brand new website that is pizza persona quiz and helps us, I guess, navigate which pizza topping truly represents our soul. Now that's one way to create a website is to use the URL method, but my preferred method is to actually type in instructions. That way it lets me be more specific with what I actually wanna create. So let's make a game website and this is gonna be a colorful music game. So all I have to do is type in a colorful, beautiful music game that allows a user to click on colorful circles. And while they are playing, the game music will be made from their interactions, add physics and animations. The game has a modern UI and a minimal design philosophy. So I have no idea what this is gonna generate, but Hopefully, based off of this instructions, it's gonna actually create something. Okay, and bam, here we have the game. Now, one thing that I kind of messed up on was that we have the URL still as Pizza Persona Quiz. So it is kind of a continuation off of that last generation. But either way, if we click on these uh, colorful looking circles, we do get music getting played. Okay, that's pretty interesting. And we also have this little score system up here in the top. Now, let's try and make this game a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna say merge with the music harmonicball.com. So hopefully we're gonna get a new URL. Okay, here we have musicspheres.io. That's what it generated. Ooh, and we have a completely different UI now. And I have no idea how this works. So let's go ahead. I see begin symphony. Oh shoot, harmonic odyssey in progress. Okay, that is pretty cool. Every time that one of these balls touches the edge of the screen, it actually plays a note. And save masterpiece. Okay, I can save it. I don't really know what that saved it to, but hey, that, that's kind of interesting. We can also click reset composition, begin a new symphony. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset this for now. And let's see if we can add in more details to make this website even better. Let's say add a title screen and every time a user clicks it on the balls, there should be a radiating circles effect. Ooh, okay, again, another UI here, music spheres. This one now is actually at musicharmonicball.com. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this one out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click begin symphony we have a similar effect that little radiating effect is pretty small though oh i'm supposed to click the pulsing sphere i don't even know which sphere is the pulsing one seems like every sphere that you uh, tap it is pulsing so yeah again this kind of goes into the more fun than practical so let's go ahead and check out another website let's see a website about the dog people where humans and canines collide we offer breed specific forums yeah this is uh kind of weird now onto something a little bit more practical i want you to take a look at this little section here which says sonnet 3.5 and this is the model that is being used it's one created from anthropic and it's set on by default as the smartest and fastest model now you can also explain 
experiment with some of the other ones such as GPT-40, Haiku, Sonnet 3, and Opus, but most people are just going to stick to using Sonnet 3.5. Another thing that I wanted to show you is that there's also a hidden option here. If you move your mouse all the way off to the side, you're going to see a bookmark bar pop up that will include all of your saved bookmarks, your history, and some more details about your profile. So if you want to use the dark mode for the website, you can. And if you also wanted to use a different custom default model, as well as a custom API key, you can do so right here. So let's create a website that actually alters images, lets you upload an image, add a filter to it, maybe add something like blurring or some sort of uh, sepia tone, grayscale filters to it, and then lets you download the image back. So, and here it's created photo magic. So click here to drag and drop your photo. Already this is looking pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead, click this, and here's an image that I have. Wow. And it uploads the image. It also applies this nice border to the image. We have the preview of the image. Wow. And it actually does the grayscaling effect. That is super impressive. We can add a sepia, invert, saturate. Oh, shoot. Saturate looks kind of good. I love that the details for this also get adjusted with a slight animation. If you can notice it, it doesn't just harshly change. It slightly adjusts itself into that change. That is beautiful. Now, if we go ahead and click save photo, will we get the adjusted photo? I'm going to go ahead and check this out. Filtered image. It gives it a file name 3.4 megabytes so far so good and wow that is really impressive so we were able to generate a website that lets you upload a photo preview that photo apply a filter preview the filters have those filters applied in an animated way and then also save that photo out and this took roughly a few seconds so that is mind-blowing to imagine now let's hop into something even more mind-blowing which is some of the creative stuff coming out from the community over here i have tamagotchi online which is a vintage dog mode activated with animations website that was created by someone where it looks like we can feed the dog and it actually gets animated we can play with the dog oh wow that's cool we can click on the dog and actually pet it and then we can also bathe the dog that is cool we also have these little sections here from hunger happiness and cleanliness now if we wanted to dive even deeper into this website let me go ahead and click on some of these hyperlinks at the bottom and it looks like this side of the website is still getting generated. Now, if you're curious where these images are coming from, you can have it source an image from online if you give it the specific instructions, or it will actually generate images by itself to fill in the gaps. So that way you're not left with anything missing or it says invalid image you will actually get a generated image. So many things to probably explore here. Here is another really awesome website. I don't even know how they came up with this. This is a solid 3D tourist viewer with custom default settings. This looks super impressive. The graphics look insane. I don't even know how the AI was able to generate a website capable of running this, but that is amazing. You can change things like the roughness, the metalness, the normal scale, the bump scale, displacements, and all of this is happening real time, which is really mind blowing to imagine and even change some of the things like the color and the resolution. So super, super impressive, really cool. And it's already got my mind working as to seeing what else people will come up with in the future. Another really awesome one is dealing with projections and simulations. So aside from being able to visualize things and coming up with these cool games, people have come up with these awesome visualizers for different difficult projections such as manifolds. So here you can actually have all of these custom settings. And this is again, a website that was generated using AI on the fly. Another awesome projection is this Kalabi Yao manifold visualizer, a 3D projection of a 60 manifold. So this is really, really cool really fun to play with and uh, again really mind-blowing to imagine that this was created using ai now this is another one that made it to the top list from the community 3d world ending simulation now as far as the world ending part i don't really see it however i do see a 3d world that was beautifully rendered right within the browser we have an option here to click shut down and that 
Whoa, okay. All right, and that one looks like it's just gonna take us out from this perspective. And wow, that tiny little sphere disappearing amongst all of these particles as if we've zoomed out of the universe. That's super interesting. And then here is another aspect of the website. Now, WebSim is very, very new, guys. So when I tell you it's new, there's only so many people on the Discord. And one of the newest features that they added was being able to use plugins. So here's an example of a plugin where someone has this mouse cursor effect. And in theory, you could apply this to other websites as well. Now, last but not least, I got to show you this one, which is a music sequencer beautifully visualized with awesome animations and effects. And it's so simple and so effective. So if we wanted to click on any of these buttons here, hit play, it will actually play the music. So let's go ahead and click in some of these boxes. All right, really cool. And you can see already as to how I could spend hours just messing around with this because it does not stop there. There are even more impressive works in the community. And if there's not something awesome here, I guarantee you that if you thought of something and had the AI generate a website for it, you'll find yourself having a whole lot of fun. So I'm curious to see what you guys come up with. Please send us some of your best creations in those comments down below. Below. The way that you can do it is by clicking on this little upload option here, either hitting copy URL to clipboard and then just pasting it right in there for us to check out. Another thing is that you can download your websites and iterate on them on your own if you're someone who is more inclined using HTML and CSS and things like that. Hope you guys enjoy checking out these creations and having fun with WebSim. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.